I'm a huge fan of imports, so today we're going to check out Japan Retro Direct, see what we can find, do some window shopping, maybe even pick up a few things. So impress me with the categories. Okay, there's a lot. Uh, all items, video games, gaming memorabilia. I want to look at some of these too. Japanese music, maybe. Cards, yeah, laser disc, yeah. Video games, of course. Oh my goodness, okay. There's a lot to choose from here. Oh, including uh, just everything that they have. Do I dare select all video games and then immediately go to show me the highest price thing? If it gives me that option. Search settings. Let's do sort by highest to low. Go. Top one would be three count bout, which is for the Neo Geo. For only uh, $109.99? The most expensive thing they have on this website for the video game section is about a hundred bucks. All right. Well, I'm, I'm excited to see what else is gonna be on here first. Game types. Categories by dance. I mean, yeah. A bunch of dance games. All the DDR games. Bust of Groove. I'm Jammer Lammy. Yeah, that that kind of counts, I guess. Okay. Uh, never mind about all that. Let me go to video games. Let me go to the Famicom. We'll start with the Famicom and we'll go from there. Um, it's still categorized, I think, with highest to low. Uh, what is the highest to low game here? The most expensive game they have for the Famicom is a $20 DuckTales. They have Labyrinth. Oh my god, that's a great game right there, too. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, let me go to... Oh, I don't really want recommended. I just like Is recommended just alphabetical? It's not. It's a little bit of everything. So maybe I should go lowest to highest or highest to low. Well, what's the lowest? Just out of curiosity, what is the lowest, cheapest game they have for the Famicom search, apparently? $1.99 for some uh, Mahjong game. It's funny, I used to like playing the Mahjong games like on the Saturn. You know what, actually, let's just, let's stick it with highest to low. It'll be kind of fun. You figured they'll put the better games in that area. Between DuckTales and Labyrinth, which is as fun to see. Uh, Joy Mech Fight is a wonderful fighting game. And at $16.99, that's a great deal. Popeye, I've played this on my Twitch stream before. Popeye no Ego Asobi. This is, like, we have Donkey Kong Jr. And then we have Donkey Kong Jr. Math. In Japan, they had that. And they also had Popeye. And then Popeye basically teaches you English. And that's what that game is. Um, interesting to see. Look at this, Mega Man 5. It's 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 Mega Man 5, it's Rock Man 5. And for only $12.99. $12.99 gets you Mega Man 5. I'm not gonna turn that down. Oh, and it shows you the whole cart and everything? Oh, come on. $12.99 for Mega Man 5. You do not need to know English to play this game. It might help a little bit. I'm, gonna, I'm adding it to cart, of course. Of course. Wrecking Crew. Um, what else is good here? Oh, here's Mario Art uh, USA. That's our Mario 2, basically. Oh, Princess Tamiya in the Sour Kingdom. Can't play it too well with the uh, without the Japanese language, but I do love that box art. Oh, fun to see. I already have one, but very fun to see. The original Mappy. Fun to see. Oh, I just uh, I just heard about this game not too long ago. It's 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 interesting to say the least, and cool to see this here. Only eight ninety nine too. I don't know if I need a copy of it, but I am very tempted to grab that copy of it because it's there and I can. Well, well, well. What else is good here? We got Pack Land. We got seven pages worth of Famicom games here. That's a whole lot of Famicom. Well, I mean, I do love Famicom, but I don't know if there's any other Famicom games I'm really like looking for. It's kind of cool to see though. See, the, I mean, there's a, such a variety of them. You know, let me go to Super Famicom. I can play those ones easier, like without uh, converters or anything, at least on my system. So I'm going to go back to video games, I suppose. Or maybe I'll just click on uh, categories and just go through this part again. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. I saw it on here. It was a Nintendo Fam uh, nah, Nintendo Super Famicom. Nintendo Super Famicom. Uh, the most expensive game they have on here, I'm still price high to low, is WrestleMania the Arcade Game for 50 bucks. That's the most expensive game they have on here. They have a Mega Man X3 for only $21.99. Rockman X2 for only $18.99. What a deal, man. That's so cool. So cool to see the cheapness. All right, let's see what else we can find here. I do like the Fire Pro Wrestling games, and Super Fire Pro Wrestling X is a what is, is the one to get for the Super Famicom for sure. Tarot Mystery. That's interesting. Star Fox for only uh, eight bucks. I've got a Run Boy and Half game. Gotta love those. Zen Nippon Pro Wrestling. Um, this is uh, All Japan Pro Wrestling. We got this in America as Natsume Championship Wrestling. But it's cool to see it. And it's only five bucks. Five dollars. My goodness, somebody going broke. Somebody going out of business. Oh, we got the Crayon Shinchan games for $3.99 each. I mean, I'll grab both at that price. Can I just back up and it's right there again? It is, it is, okay. Yeah, let me just grab both of these while I'm at it. I'll take it, thank you. Thank you, thank you. For four bucks each, it's a deal. And that's about, okay, then everything else is sold out. So it has other pages, but it's all just the sold out stuff. Do they have Game Boy? Because Game Boy, uh, Game Boy imports play very well. You do not need a converter to play them, and super cheap. 
for the most part. And the most expensive game they have is eleven ninety nine Gallery Three. It's like the Game and Watch type stuff. Sailor Moon. What kind of Sailor Moon game is this? What kind of Sailor Moon game is on the Game Boy? Uh, it's that one. This one. <laughs> oh. What was that fighting a cheeseburger? I love it already. Yeah. Oh, and look at this. Here's Crayon Shinchan for the uh, Game Boy. I don't even know how it plays. I'm going to buy it immediately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll give this one to for only $3.99. One Piece has been around long enough where they have a Game Boy game on it? Good lord. All right, and that's uh, where we get to the end of that list. Wow, finding some cool stuff already on this. Oh, hold on. You know, Hyperkin announced that Retron uh, device that plays PC Engine games. I am kind of curious to see what PC Engine games they have. And I don't really know if I need any of these. Although I do have a PC Engine Duo, but I think I'll be okay for now. But nice to see that they have stuff like this. Oh, and loose games too. Perfect. Might come back to this after that device comes out. Famicom Disk System. I do love my disk system. Again, I think I have just about every game I could possibly want on it. Oh, The Adventures of Milo and Otis. That's right, they made a Famicom Disk System game based on that. Just so you know. I do have a copy of that. It's not great. <laughs> but it does exist. Categories. So you're also talking about the import 64 games as well, then I'm sure. Yep. So this is this site's all about imports. I don't know if I really need any of these, but also just, you know, just gonna browse a little bit. Ain't no shame in the browse game. I mean, just look at the sheer list of stuff they have. Game Gear? Game Gear games might play. Woody Pop. That's interesting to see on this. I think Game Gear games play the same without a converter or anything. But game Boy. Oh, here's a Sega Mega Drive. And not a lot. Not a lot. It's okay. You know, I might be interested in Dreamcast. There's a lot of great imports. Oh, Fire Pro D. Only $12.99. I played so much Fire Pro D. I do have a Japanese Dreamcast, so this won't bother me at all. But, you yeah. know. Fun to browse, fun to see what they have. Let's look at game memorabilia. Uh, all of it, I guess. Video game soundtracks included. Oh, there's a a Kirby yo-yo. Oh, come on. How amazing is that? Yeah, we'll, gra we'll grab one. Don't care about Star Fox. Oh, a Kirby toothbrush. <laughs> yeah, okay. A lot of other Kirby stuff here. A Kirby hand towel. Puffy Pokemon stickers. Origami paper. Show me the Kirby hand towel. I mean, for $2.99, we gotta grab that too, right? It's amazing. Categories. We uh, have PC Engine CD, good to know. Now correct me if I'm wrong, you can play DS, but you cannot play 3DS? I think we're good. I think I'm happy with what, with what I have coming in. Are there import 3DO games? Oh, I guess so. Got Police Nuts. Nicely done. All right, let's go to the cart, see what we got here. Uh, we got a few games here. I'm curious to go back in and look at more. What do you have for Japanese music? Okay, so it's just like, you know, J-pop. Okay, let's go back to the Super Famicom. I'm a huge fan of Super Famicom, especially at these prices. Sort by lowest to high. What do you tell me here? So the cheapest game they have is $1.50. $1.49. It's gonna be some kind of sports game there. But there's Space Invaders. Space Invaders is a good one. You know, got Final Fantasy IV, which is our Final Fantasy II. There's the Crayon Shinchan games. Already grabbed those. Zen Nippon Pro Wrestling. I got one of those. Don't need another one. There's a Fire Pro 2, as well as Super Fire Pro. I wouldn't mind finding one more just to make it that kind uh, you know, the 50. Get it to the 50 mark. There's a Yu Yu Hakusho game. Street Fighter 2, always. I do like Yoshi's Cookie. I had fun with Ultraman. It was the first game I rented. The first uh, Super Nintendo game I rented was Ultraman for the Super Nintendo. Before I even really knew who it was. I was like, I've heard of it. I was like, it's a, it's a Japanese thing, I think. Oh, Bomberman. You know, there's a few Bomberman games that we never got. We got like one and two, and they got three, four, and five. Yeah. Oh, here's Bomberman right here. Bomberman 3. Perfect. You know, so stuff like that. Always stuff to look out for. Like Bonk's Adventure. It might, be, it might be interesting just to get all three. Get Rockman X and Rockman X2. Oh, and even Rockman 7. Maybe. Yeah, I'll at least get Rockman 7. But then, you know, while we're at it, we may as well get Rockman X and Rockman X2. I mean, if I already have X3, I may as well get the other ones too, right? Oh, and 5 for the Famicom. Forgot about that one. That's the first thing I clicked on. <laughs> That's how long ago that was. It wasn't even long ago. It was a couple minutes ago. <laughs> All right, I think we're good here. Got a nice, uh, got a nice collection of games here. Nice collection, nice selection, and uh, I, I did get some Game Boy games. Good. Do they have Game Boy Advance? I'm sure they do. Only because I didn't grab anything from here. I'm, uh, I'm still lo uh, lowest to high, I think. Let me go high to low. Let me go high to low. Not that I'm a big spender or anything. I just, you know, sometimes the better games are going to be okay. So here's, oh, and then they got the X Zero games. What is this? Coro Coro Puzzle. 
What? Koro Koro Puzzle Happy... It sounds like a rhythm game. I just love it already. All right, what is it? It's one of these motion control games. Ah, I see. Okay. So it's a puzzle game that re that that's what that that that's like the uh, like the Wario World tilt its type stuff. It has a balance to it or a weight to it. All right. Um, I can be happy with this. Because <laughs> you can play Switch, you can play import Switch games on your US Switch, and uh, I'll, I'll be okay. Okay, let's check out. Do I create an account? I mean, I, I might come back, so I may as well create an account. So we have a few options for mailing between Airmail and Yamato. Yamato is very expensive and takes longer. No, it's it's a lot quicker. It's a lot quicker. Oh, I see. Because it's it's coming from it's coming from Japan. It takes two to three weeks. Well, I can, I'm not in any hurry. Fast, four to seven days. Tracking available, insured, but very expensive. Yamato is the better option. Add shipping address. Well, let's let's see, and then we can always back out and go for something else. Two to four months, slow, but inexpensive. No tracking, no refunds for lost packages. $32, so that's kind of how they're helping that out, but I don't mind. Again, this will take, let me just do the slow route, and it, when it shows up, it shows up. So that looks a lot better. Okay, so just those games. At that price, that shipping and handling. Well, if it's only seventeen dollars, though, an extra just to make it show up sooner with shipping. You know, maybe I'll maybe I'll do that. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that's right, I can't do that. So those games going to the one address, not two of them, like last time. See, that's actually not that much more. So, considering how much I already saved, okay, I'm all paid up, and we will see um, how long it takes and what it looks like when it comes in. Yeah, I can't take it off. Anyway, straight from Japan, with the custom forms and everything, it took about 9 to 10 days. 9 to 10 days only from Japan to right here in Washington State. Uh, oh, it's one of those, it's one of these kind of cardboard boxes. I don't know what one of these kind of cardboard boxes is, but whatever. Okay. And here's what it looks like on the inside. Bubble wrap surrounding everything. And a couple of things are individually bubble wrapped, which is nice. There's that Kirby yo-yo. Gotta check that out. As well as the Kirby hand towel. How cute is that? Mega Man 5 on Famicom. I can't believe the deal from this one. Good Lord. Goes for a lot less than the standard cart. And it plays the same. Looking forward to checking out Sailor Moon here. And these games are coming individually sealed too in their own little wrappers. Crayon Shinchan 2 and 3 for the Game Boy as well. Again, sealed in their own wrappers. Very nice. Oh man, why did I do this to myself? Well, I can't deny the deals, right? Mega Man X, Mega Man X2, Mega Man 7. I got Shinchan, I got another Shinchan game. But the games themselves, knowing I was gonna get it from Japan and you get that speedy service with tracking as well. Man, I've ordered so many things from overseas, even from like Canada. I don't even get tracking. I'm getting tracking from Japan. It's nice that it offers that feature. Now, if you don't mind waiting for a while, it'll show up when it shows up, that's fine. But it's nice with the standard shipping that you can just pile up a box full of stuff and it'll come straight to you and you don't have to pay extra for shipping because it's all gonna be just like a flash shipping rate. Cool. <laughs> I just think it's cool. Yeah, Japan Retro Direct, no complaints for me. Um, I would absolutely 100% buy from them again. In fact, I'm sure I will. I've done some window shopping before in the past as well. What other stores do I need to check out online? Let me know in the comments and we'll see you again very soon.